Now I'd like to show you a little bit about how a tool that my research group created called CSmith works. And so CSmith is just a random test case generator. We use it to try to break C compilers. Let's just take a little bit of a look and see how it works. What I'm going to do here is shell into a machine belonging to my group, and we're going to look at an in-progress CSmith run that's been going for a couple of days. So let's see the results. Let's see what happened. Okay, so here's what's happened over the last couple of days with this testing run. So what I'm doing is making a program using CSmith, and then using the latest version of GCC and the latest version of Clang, that is LLVM C front end, to compile each test case at a variety of optimization levels. And I'm not using any kind of weird optimization levels. I'm basically just compiling it dash 0, dash 01, dash 02. And it doesn't matter if you're not a C compiler user. These are basically the sort of vanilla compiler optimization levels that any compiler user would probably be using. So what the bottom of this output shows us is that 150,000 tests have run since I started this testing run. And during this testing run, GCC has failed a half dozen times or so. Clang has failed a few times. And also we see a few CSmith failures. It could be that these CSmith failures are actual bugs, but Historically speaking, most of the time, these are timeouts. And so generally, all of these tools are run under timeouts when we use a random testing loop, because random tests tend to be really good at finding performance pathologies, where the tool runs for a really long time, and that wastes time. So what we do is we just kill any tool after it's run for several minutes, including our random test case generator itself. So let's see what we can learn here. So what I'm going to do is look and see if we found any interesting LLVM failures. And so when LLVM crashes, it always tells us how it crashed using an assertion violation. And so as I discussed a couple of units ago, many real programs contain a lot of assertions and these compilers certainly have that property. Okay, so we can see is that LLVM has crashed, it looks like four times here, one time with a message about a wrong topological sorting, and three times with a message about unknown live in to the entry block. And it turns out that I happen to know that this wrong topological sorting bug is not new. This is one that I reported a couple of weeks ago. On the other hand, this unknown live into the entry block bug is probably new. So one thing we could do is check in LLVM's bugzilla if this actually is new, but what I'm going to do now is just assume that it is, and, and let's take a little bit of a look at this bug. So here, here we are in the actual log of CSmith's output, and what it's telling us is what command line arguments it used when it invoked CSmith to generate the program that killed Clang. And so what you can see is it contains a bunch of options, but also it contains the random number seed that CSmith uses. So we're gonna need to cut and paste this, and now we can pass this to a different script, which is gonna generate this program again, and let's edit it. Let's look at it. 